Knockout is here and I've tested every single booster inside the game. Today, I'm going to share what the best picks are and let you in on some of my best secrets to win. To aid you on your journey, five lucky winners will win 10,000 coins. So why don't you show your appreciation by liking and subscribing. Knockout, the newly added game mode of Matchmasters. And to become a pro, you gotta know how it works. The first thing you'll notice is that perks are already selected for you. But don't worry, it's the same for your opponent. I personally think this is a good thing. Could you imagine somebody starting off first, dropping a mini Cleo on a blue star? Next thing you know, Mixie Mal is just out there wrecking the board. I don't think so. I think that'd be a pretty unfair advantage, but it seems like the devs got this one under control. The second thing you'll notice is each player has one turn, so you gotta play smart. And don't think you can sit there and really plan out your move because this timer moves fast. Instead of scoring points in this mode, every tile you destroy will count as an attack towards your opponent's health bar. The more tiles you clear, the harder the hit. Now you can really do some big hits in this mode, but you may be asking yourself, with such a short period of time, how could you do this effectively? Here's the thing, activating your booster will actually pause the time meter for the duration of that booster's animation. So in theory, if you were able to keep popping things off, your round could last an eternity. Well, not quite, but you know where I'm going with this. When going into battle, we know how important it is to get our booster filled, but this could be incredibly difficult with only one turn. Let's face it, there's not always a blue extra move just waiting to get cashed in. This is where I find the hammer comes in clutch. If there's a tile you can remove to create blue four in a row, go for it. If you can't do that, try to hit a lower star to have three blues fall into place. This will save your move and give you a chance to use your booster right away. And if none of these are possible, use your shuffle to mix things up and hope you have one of these opportunities. Now there's three boosters I found work incredibly well, and you know it, first one's Mixy Mail. Turning large areas into specials and then the kitty code, it's an easy way to hit the opponent hard. Another thing to note is unlike regular battles, every round will be treated like it's your first time activating that booster. So you can expect to see a kitty code with three tiles two times in a row at the start of each round. And this is what makes Mixie such a strong candidate. Being able to combine three colors into one is a good way to wipe out a portion of the board. But there's still plenty of other boosters that I find put up a good fight. Let's take Sweep It SE for example, and by the way, this battle, I was getting my butt kicked. You can see my opponent has a solid start, uses a hammer and already ready to activate. Now I myself would've used one of my spray cans to hit the rod, but they didn't do that and they filled up anyways. When it came to my turn, my luck wasn't as good. But when round two started, my opponent had the worst case scenario. Pretty much had two spray cans that were unable to make an extra move. I probably would've used the shuffle on this, but they went for the three reds and called at the end of their turn. A big part of keeping the advantage in this mode is preventing your opponent from filling their booster. Sometimes you get an opportunity you can jump on, or other times like this, they do it to themselves. Now it's time to let Sweep It shine. Being able to shove a single color over to the side of the map is an easy way to separate the pieces and create some good openings. I was able to even myself back up, but my opponent wasn't happy about this and had a huge round. So I was hurting pretty bad, but remember, popping that booster will freeze that clock. So my goal was to pop the boosters as many times as I could, and that's exactly what I did, and I won. But there's still one more booster I found works incredibly well, and before we do that, let's give away those coins. As I said at the beginning of the video, five lucky winners will be getting 10,000 coins. First, I'm gonna need you to like and subscribe, and then I want you to head down the comments and post your favorite booster for Knockout. There's no wrong answer on this one, but I will need you to add your player ID. The last booster I found really powerful was Cleo Cadabra. And once again, my opponent did me a favor. They could have used the hammer on the red tile, had the other fall in place, and start activating right away. I'll show them how important it is, and maybe they'll learn to do it next time. But when it comes to Cleo, we know how powerful those beetles are. If you can combine one with a blue tile, it's definitely something to go for. But be careful on this one, we don't want to get greedy with our activations. We want to make sure we have it filled up for next round to do it all over again. But there's more than just combining these bugs with the blues, we actually want to wipe the board out with this. So if you can, combine it with a bomb, even a lightning, or in this situation, a crosshair out there is enough to get the job done. Now I know we've talked a lot about premium boosters here and not everybody has legendary and special edition boosters. So there are some other good candidates out there like El Magneto, a great example of a way to wipe a board. And I even like Queen Cobra for duplicating those rows it gives a really good chance for making those extra moves. But if I had to pick a gold booster, that's where I'm going with Lil Dragon. I think he does a good job for clearing a good section. Well, there you have it folks, the newly added knockout. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Once again, I'm Timo and we'll see you Matchmasters in the next video. Wow, what a fun new game mode. You know what else is fun? This video right here. And this one, you just gotta watch it.